it's a beautiful day in fact it's really cold uh, it's december and yeah this is how bangalore is supposed to be uh, it's really foggy if you could see it's not that clear but it i couldn't even see this house uh, say 20 minutes back uh, so yeah uh, this is a segment i really want to do from a real long time uh, because it was, because i was held up so much i couldn't really uh, shoot this but today i think the perfect time so i'll be heading over there i do have a guest at, on my show so yeah let's see you guys on the other side Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about how we can detect lies or spot lies, especially when you meet a stranger or a random person, or it could be even your friends or family. So yeah, so today we have a special guest. Her name is Dr. Anupama Sanjeev. Thanks for being on this vlog. Thank you, uh, Man. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Man, uh, kindly tell our viewers what your background is. Give them a brief as to what you have done, what your researches are, and everything, so they have a fair bit idea. Um, I have a PhD in psychology. I have about 10 years experience in counseling and psychometric assessments. And uh, I have been counseling on a wide variety of issues related to relationships, stress management and uh, careers, as in choosing a, the appropriate career path. Okay, perfect. So let's start off. Uh, first of all, a lot, I've got a lot of questions from a lot of people. So the first one would be, why do people lie? Like, what is the main reason? What, what do you think? Because you have interviewed a lot of people, so what is your point of view? Straight up, people lie because they don't want to tell the truth. Okay. Because they're, they're not comfortable sharing whatever is that uh, episode or whatever that they want to say with somebody because they are apprehensive of what the result is going to be because of that. Oh, okay, fine. So it is just that. They're not comfortable talking about the truth. So they would like to hide it and how many, lie. How many cases have you dealt throughout your life? with people like all these kind of cases like people come and lie how do you realize see th there are many ways one can uh, realize okay. and spot a person who's lying be it your own family it's it's far more easier with your own family because you know their typical uh, behavior, behavior yeah. their body language primarily it is the non-verbal communication what we call non-verbal which is okay. to do with the how your body is positioned okay. the movement of your hands the way you look into people's eyes all these are typical points where people give away that they are lying. Okay, do you have to be trained to figure this out or? Some amount, a little bit of training, not, not as in training, training for a long time. But yeah, uh, typically if, if a person is lying, uh, the sentences will have the third person reference. Okay. As in they will not talk about that person or that incident directly. Okay. They will bring uh -huh. a third person reference. Then there will be a sudden itch that they may develop. There may be a sudden you know, moving away of the face. They will not be able to look you in the eye and say it. Because it takes a lot of practice to lie with ease also. Like if you're in the FBI or something. Yeah, it <laughs> takes a lot of practice. Yeah. You are trained not to let go, not to be aware of your non-verbal uh, communication, okay. which will help you to lie well. But then again, people lie almost every day. It yeah. is a normal occurrence. Okay. And there are small lies, there are big lies, there are so-called good lies, there are bad lies. Yeah, you can qualify them. I was getting to that. So... They are good and bad lies. So how does it help? Does it help a cause, the good and bad lies, according to you? Good and bad is relative. It okay. depends on how the person who's lying is calling it, is qualifying okay. it. Now, there may be lies which have been said in order to prevent a misunderstanding from happening, in order to, uh, yeah. you know, get something uh, beneficial to society done. Exactly. But then, when people come to know that it, it is all based on a lie, then they lose that trust factor with that person or that set of people. Yeah. So it's always better to explain how things are. It may, it may take some time for people to come around and agree with you. But do that and then move on. Better than but, losing the but trust. But coming back to this, for yeah. this you need clarity in your own mind first. So for all of us, sometimes it's very easy to like. It's, oh. e it's easy to say I missed the bus. Like to, Typically people when they are late, the most traffic. common, yeah, traffic <laughs> is the most common like. Why are you late? Convenient <laughs> like. Yeah. So these are small things which do not 
actually have an impact but then if you're doing it every day nobody's going to believe you yeah it's going to build up basically yeah and it's going to give an a quality to your character that you know you can't be trusted on certain things or you don't you can't commit whatever professionally as well and at home do you think both is what when you know, lie so much like even at home yes, when you lie so yes. it, it affects because both it affects definitely it affects your relationship yeah. and life is primarily all about relationships for all of yeah. us that's where it all starts career and everything else comes later so if we can handle our relationships well we mm-hmm. can handle our careers also well all right perfect so the next one is uh, when do people lie the most when as in you when they say they're in a situation where they have to get out of it or it could be anywhere like maybe i'm going to buy something and i i feel like i have to you know lie to get something from them or like that is a situational lie or how is it uh i would say lying becomes more of a habit with some people okay. because it is convenient to escape from the re- reality okay so when it becomes a habit without the need to lie people start lying exactly yeah. so people start lying more often when they fall into this habit of lying yes. that there is no reason to lie they will lie i know a couple of people i like to that <laughs> So the other one is uh, what are telltale signs of a person lying? Body you, language. Could you give us like five pointers which would help you, viewers also understand yeah. when they meet people? Right. The first is there will be an alteration in the voice. Okay. It will either become overly emotional or it will become completely flat. It won't be the normal pattern of speaking. Okay. Second, there will be a visible body uh, movement change. the uh, like maybe they do not they do not uh, you know they do not itch normally they will feel, behave like they are reaching somewhere and start scratching okay. or they will start shaking a leg or they will avert their face completely from the person they are talking to so these are the first signs okay. otherwise there will be this tapping of the foot beneath where nobody can see or the tapping of the fingers there is an impatient feel impatient, to their yeah. body because they want to be done with the lie they are not comfortable lying nobody sure. is comfortable lying So they're not comfortable. They want to be done with it. That's coming out in that way. Okay. So according to you, where do people lie the most? Job interviews, politics, day-to-day activities for a greater good or interrogation? Also, I remember this that I have a friend in advertising agency, and he does client servicing. Mm. So I I feel even you had worked before. So we he actually lies a lot. like i don't know now since he lies a lot even it it's in you know it's into his daily life so he when i speak to him he's like i'm going to meet you in 10 minutes then then it's an hour and then in an hour when i call him he's like yeah i'm on my way but then it's again 2 hours so does a professional way of working when you lie comes into your personal life as well because a lot of ad agencies try to keep their clients happy but they are lying to them eventually which yeah, yeah i understand you got that's how the business works but professionally also like like i just asked you which which place to the right in job interviews or i just thought of this so i thought i'll just put it out um i uh, it depends on which which of these situations is most critical to them right now what happens is if on the job you are allowing a little bit of lying a little bit of you know smoothening of the surfaces to come in if you're doing it every day it might become a habit you might become what is called a pathological liar okay. it seeps into your other parts of your life as well like you explain yeah. what your friend does yeah. but then if you are aware that you are doing this part of you know uh, smoothening the edges of the truth for a particular reason whatever that reason may be and that is need not come into the rest of your life that you have to do it yourself you figure out consciously say that this should not move into the other areas of my life as well moving back to the question that you asked Of course interviews are a good place to lie yeah, because yeah. much of what you say cannot be verified immediately yeah. and people do it people do it but then it's also a giveaway because the leading questions following it might land you in a difficult spot yeah that's true so you have to be careful how you are doing this it's not that lying is bad or good or it is there we yeah. have to accept it and work our way around it that is how yeah. it is because it is human nature you can't be perfect nobody is perfect so if some sort of line is going to come in but how you say why you saying it like for example interrogation under yeah. interrogation you are you are trained not to lie so it is uh, how long can you last against the physical the discomfort breaking, yeah. that so it becomes that the other ones were day to day activities day to day activities again traffic yeah. it's the easiest lie then uh, uh, maybe why uh, if you are uh, bunking work 
another lie there you can I'm might sick. as well <laughs> yes <laughs> what are the other ones for a greater good for a greater good it happens very rarely like i said uh, i mean there is even a saying in the indian um, in in kannada that you know you say uh, 100 lies to get one marriage done kind of a thing i'm roughly translating yeah. it so they do um, agree that sometimes it is good to lie but then you lie and move ahead with the situation but then you have to go back and make sure that that bit is cleared between all the concerned parties otherwise later on it might become a big think, snowball yeah and cause a lot of problems eventually yeah. what about politics politics i don't have to say anything <laughs> at all <laughs> everyone knows it yeah in politics <laughs> So yeah that's the amount of questions that I had received uh so now I hope, do you think these guys are going to use whatever you said for their benefit I hope the viewers don't so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so thank you doc for being with us thank and uh, yeah you guys can subscribe and if you have anything else in mind talking about stress or relationships or anything you can surely comment below and we will try and make another video about it and help you guys out so yeah thank you for watching see you guys soon I'm only